What is going on YouTube? My name is Blue Paul. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Today, I'm playing some Ubers against Lukey Taz. One, two, three. A subscriber suggested I should play Ubers to me a couple videos ago. Don't worry, your voice was not forgotten. We're playing some Ubers just for you. And of course, for everyone who likes Ubers and Pokemon in general. Now before we start the video, be sure to show some love to that like button down below. I really appreciate your support. Also, don't forget to subscribe to never miss a Pokemon video coming your way. If you want to be featured in a battle like this in the future, be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link for that and everything else is in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get into the battle. So I'm not the most experienced Ubers player, but I did a little research and I discovered that Primal Groudon is basically the best rock setter in the tier. There's not a lot that can stop it, but apparently Ho is like the perfect check for it as they don't normally run a rock type move. Uh, and I see a Ho on my opponent's team, which makes me think twice about leaning with Primal Groudon. However, that's a 1 in 6 chance, and unfortunately it does happen. Uh, I primarily revert, which looks awesome by the way, I did not realise how cool that is. And this Ho-Ho smacks with the Brave Bird as I go for a Dragon Tail, just because I don't want to set up rocks on a Ho-Ho that may carry the Fog. Uh, unfortunately I miss my Dragon Tail, and I think he predicts me to switch out there, because I don't want to take more damage. But I don't, I just decide, screw it, I'll get my rocks up. If he goes for the Fog, he goes for the Fog. Uh, I then go into Kanye, predicting a Brave Bird, I get that pretty nicely. And uh, this Kanye has Choice Scarf, so he's definitely going to outspeed this Ho-Ho, and I can smack it with an electric type move. I think a Volt Switch would take it out. This Ho-Ho is fat, it eats that Volt Switch up, and I decide, right, you want Grumbles, you can have him. But no, this Ho-Ho goes to recover, and uh, very wise actually, because Sacred Fire and Brave Bird do nothing to Kanye. Uh, I then land my Dragon Tail, thankfully, and uh, drag out this Mewtwo. Now the Mewtwo Knight X is not so much of a problem as this Grumbles, as you can see, is fat as hell on the physical side. Eats up that Drain Punch pretty nicely and can fire off a really powerful Precipice Blades there. He does take me out with the second Drain Punch, but he barely gets any HP back, which is good for me, which means Kanye can come in and clean up this Mewtwo. As I do there with a Bolt Strike, smack that thing. He then brings in Xerneas, which is very threatening of course, because uh, I have quite a gaping fairy weakness on my team, or just to Xerneas in general. But I decide a Bolt Strike will do enough to this that I can come in with Genesect, and, which is Choice Scarped as well, and potentially take out Xerneas. I go for a U-turn praying, I do get the attack boost from download, which is pretty clutch. Uh, and yes, the U-turn does take it out. I can then bring in So2013, my own Xerneas, as he brings in Dialga. Now I have a little surprise for Dialga's, I have Hidden Power Ground on this Xerneas, but I wanted to scout to see what this Dialga would go for. Turns out he has the Flash Cannon, uh, as is pretty standard, and I can get a Thunder Wave off from this for 665, not quite 666. Uh, he goes for a Roar of Time, which is great for me, that means free a Geomancy in uh, Pokemon language. Uh, which means that my Xerneas is now at plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. And is going to outspeed pretty much everything on his team, and one-shot it. I smack a Hidden Power Ground there. Probably weren't expecting that, the Alga. <laughs> Sorry, you got dropped. I also run Thunder for ho and luckily I land it right there. So this is quite an unexpected Moonfall, I think, I don't know, it's somewhat standard, somewhat not. This Kyogre helps me out really nicely here by making it rain, so my Thunder is guaranteed to hit and take it out. See ya, Kyogre. Uh, yeah, bye. <laughs> he then brings in Reshiram. He kind of had to pray that it was Hidden Power fighting on that Dialga and not Hidden Power ground, but nope! Get dropped, son! So this certainly is a little bit of a sweep there. Uh, it was a pretty good battle, it was uh, not the most competitive, but basically don't go for Roar of Time when Xerneas is lying around. End of story. So that wraps up the video there. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button down below. I really appreciate your guys' support. Also, don't forget to subscribe to never miss a video coming your way. If you want to be featured in a battle like this in the future, be sure to follow me on Twitter. The links for everything are in the description down below. Have a great day. Peace.